Okay, so we're going to do some stretching, some strengthening, some mobilizing, some core work, okay, all in 45 minutes, and it's all with breath and movement combined. All right, so if you bring your knees up to your opposite hand, all right, so just see how that feels to start with. So you're just doing a knee raise, and then just reaching away with that opposite hand, getting a little bit of rotation going as well into the spine. So you can do a little twist, a little bit more of a twist if that feels okay. Let's see how that is for you. We're going to then take the hands onto the hips, step out and curl up with the heel. Okay, so step out. See how that feels. And if that's okay and you think you can add some arms, do a chest uh, stretch, okay? So squeeze the shoulder blades towards one another as you come back, okay? And then take the hands on the hips and then tap your feet back, all right? So we're just getting a little bit of heat going, okay? Just taking everything to a level that feels okay for you. All right, if you want to, as you tap back, reach out with your arms. Okay. So just getting that pulse going a wee bit. And then come around and just take the feet out. Okay, so we're just gonna go side, 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 just gently and then gradually increasing that range. Okay, pull your abs in, pelvic floor muscles engaged, lift the chest. And gradually get a little bit more range into that. If that feels okay, you can start reaching towards that leg or foot and reaching the other hand away. Okay, gradually increasing that range of movement. And as you go, reach and twist and reach and twist and reach. And then coming up, okay, turning one foot and bend the knee, rest the elbow on the thigh, sweep your arms up and round, just one arm round, just to work into your shoulder girdle. So rotate through and then change direction. Keep the body as still as you can. Pelvic floor, deep abdominals engaged. Sweep that hand down to the floor and bring your back heel up. And then the leg that's forward, so that hand's gonna go up. You're gonna open it up. You can take your knee to the floor here if you prefer. So breathe. Coming up, tuck your toes in. Pull your belly in, okay? So from here, with your legs wide, your legs can be soft or straight. Can you send just the hips back a little bit? Keep everything drawn in. And if you want to as well, you could reach the arms out so that you're stretching your hands away from your bum. Okay, draw your belly in and breathe. And then come up. So we'll turn to the other side. Okay, and we're going to just sweep around. Knee above ankle on that front leg, changing direction. Keep the body as still as you can. Deep abdominals, pelvic floor muscles engaged. Take this top hand down to the floor, pivot through the back foot so the heel goes up. You can take the knee down if you prefer. Take the hand up to the ceiling and open up and breathe. Come back to the center. Draw the belly and this time we've got both hands down on the floor. Okay, and just gently stretch and feel the weight shift through your feet. Breathing. Tuck your head in, lift your sit bones, soften the knees where you need. So keep your right hand down directly underneath your head and then reach up with your left arm and feel a more of a stretch on the inner thigh muscles. And then swap hands. And then reach it up. And open up. 
and then come back, and then roll it up, and just restack your spine. Okay, so coming up, and if you just set your feet up, so that they're quite wide, okay? And in this position, you wanna make sure that the feet are not in line, okay? So you're stepping out with your back leg, all right? Back heel comes up to find some balance, all right? And then just sink down on the front leg. The back knee can come down if you want to, and, or you can just keep it straight. Bella, on the floor, on the floor. Okay, so if you wish that, you're gonna join me, not here. So we're gonna reach up, Okay, and um, we're just going to sink down a little bit. You don't have to take the back heel up if you don't want. All right, bring the hands down and then reach up. Now bring the hands level with your shoulders and just twist to the side. Okay, and then twist to the other side. Trying to keep your balance and reach up. Come back to the center and twist and twist and center we'll do one more and twist and twist and reach and then come up change legs so that back heel up if not then you make it a little bit shorter and then the back foot's more 45 degrees otherwise you can challenge that out okay sinking down a little bit and then reach up and then bring the hands level with the shoulders, keep the chest lifted, twist the leg that's forwards, twist to that side, come round, try to keep the front knee steady, twist, and then reach. And then neck long, arms out, and twist as if you're holding like a, a big beach ball or something, or an exercise ball, twist, and reach. So arms stay the same width as the shoulders, try to keep the knees steady. Okay, that front knee. Breathe, keep it long in the neck. Twist, and then come back. Take the feet so that they are hip distance apart. Okay, or wider, maybe to the width of the mat. We're gonna take it into a squat. We're gonna to try to focus on, obviously keeping that core engaged. We send the hips back. Okay, we try to keep the spine nice and straight. So we're gonna do that by stretching the arms out and then coming back, reach, and back, draw the belly in, and then gradually see if you can increase that range of depth into your squat. Hips go back, feet stay down, draw the belly in, lift the chest. As you come back, make some fists and draw the arms back. Okay, just create a little bit of tension there. Push up. If you want to, as you come up, you can come up onto your toes and a calf raise. So we squat down as deep as we can and we come up to calf. We keep the belly strong. So it's just testing that hip mobility. Okay. Working glutes, quads, all of that. Arms nice and strong. Come up to your toes if you want. Last one. Okay, good stuff. All right, let's just try a little bit of balance. All right, so send the right foot forward and into a shallow position compared to when we did our more of our warrior or lunging position. Okay, bend the front knee. Okay, just a little bit. And just try lifting your back leg off the floor. Okay, and then just try hinging from the hips, drawing the belly in, reaching down. If you can, reach for the floor. And then see if you can straighten up through the standing leg and the back leg. And then bend that front knee, and then come up, changing legs. So step back, setting yourself up with your back heel up, soften through the right leg, Okay, that, 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 sorry, the left knee. Draw the abdominals in. Hinge from the hips. Float that back leg up and off the floor and just see how far you can go as you reach down. Remember to hold on to something where you need. Hands can come to the floor if you can make it and you can try straightening up through both legs. 
So for that knee, and then come back. Okay, so this time, let's try taking the knee up in front of you into a knee forward and raise the arm, the arms. And then see if you can stay in that balance and then hinge from the hips and send the foot back, work from your center and reach the arms away. And lift the chest, remember to hold on to something where you need to. See if you can come back to the center, lifting the knee up, and then come back down. So keep focused on something, maybe down and forwards. Reach up with the other leg. And then from here, hinging from the hips, slow and controlled, reaching that leg away, stretching the arms, stretching the legs. Work from your center. And then coming back. Good. And then release. Okay, so let's just come to the back of the mat. All right, from here, we're going to take a roll down. So we're going to stand nice and tall with the feet hip distance apart and thighs are on. Take an in-breath as you bring your chin to your chest and start rolling down through your spine, scooping your belly in, and just gradually opening up through those vertebrae and breathing. Take an in-breath and then scoop your belly in and roll back up. So we're trying to do this without sending the hips out to the back. Come back up again. In breath at the top, chin to chest, roll down to your spine. Scoop your belly in. And every time we go down, maybe we can get a little bit further. And in breath, and then scoop the belly and roll it up. Restack. This time, we're going to roll all the way down. And when we get down there, we're going to start bending the knees one at a time. So you can rest the hands down on the feet or on the floor or on the legs, on the thighs, whatever feels good. Listen to your body, but keep trying to challenge it. So we're going to bend your right leg and straighten the left leg as much as we can. Take the left arm up to the ceiling, open up. Lift the sit bones on the left side, stretch to the ceiling and change. Bend the left leg and then reach up to the right and breathe. From here, we're going to track the hands and place them on the thighs and send the tailbone away and lift the chest. So pull the abdominals in, look up and then exhale, tuck your chin and round the back, scoop the belly and tuck the tailbone, straightening up through the leg. Bend the knees again. Look up, inhale, tailbone away. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, scoop the belly, tuck the chin into your cat. And then once more, bend the knees, lift the chest, inhale. And then scoop the belly and rounding the back and roll all the way up and reach your arms up to the ceiling. Stretch up and now rise up onto your toes. Stretch it up. Come back down through your heels, bring your chin to your chest as if you're rolling over in a big imaginary barrel here, we'll roll it over that. Now we're gonna walk the hands out to the front of the mat. Spread the fingers wide, keep the hips high, keep the heels high. In a high heel downward facing dog, start pedaling your heels up and down, drawing your abdominals deep in, pelvic floor muscles engaged. Feet should be hip distance, hands should be shoulder distance with the fingers spread wide. We're pushing the floor away with the hands, keeping the hips high, pedaling the heels. On the next in breath, come to a high heel down dog. On the out breath, try to stretch your heels down towards the floor, but keeping the hips high. Push the floor away, in breath, coming up. Exhale, heels down. Anytime this feels too much, take a breather, come down to your knees. Okay, in breath, high heels. And exhale, heels down. Okay, from here, we're going to push forward to a high plank position. Push the floor away. And then from here, as we come back, we're going to bend those knees and push back to this position, more of a bear crawl position. We're gonna come back, so we've gotta use those legs as well. We're back to that high plank, and then we're back into this bear crawl kind of position here. 
Remember to take your knees down if you need in between, okay? Push back. Come back to your high plank. Hands under shoulders, head well over the hand. Push back. And then into your high plank. And then one more. Push back. And into that high plank. And then come down to knees. And then just stretch it back. And take some breath. So we're going to roll up to a high kneeling position. Okay, we're going to have the knees and the hips aligned. Make sure your knees are comfortable. Put something under the knees if you need here. Okay, reach your arms out. So we're just going to do a little thigh stretch. So we're going to reach back, keeping the body strong and steady, and then come back forward. So keep the neck long. Draw the belly in, and you're creating a strong line from your ear, your shoulder, your hips to your knees, okay? So watch you're not arching up through the spine. Watch you're not dipping your hips down and into the, down towards your heels. You're going to take the body back as one unit, okay? Into this thigh stretch. Keep those hip bones pushing forwards as if they are attached to the wall in front of you, maybe. Okay, and reaching back. Exhaling. Inhale to come forwards and exhale to go back. We'll do one more of those. And then come back. So we are going to take those hands back to the front of the mat, draw the belly in, tuck the toes, and push up to your down dog. Remember, anytime you need to, you come down, have a breather, okay? So from here, we're going to do down dog, and then we're going to come to do a press up, okay? So the hands are nice and wide on the mat. We shift the weight forwards to high plank, so we can either keep the knees up or take the knees down here, come down to press up, heads well over the hand, push up, and then push up, hips high to your down dog. So we take the head well over the hands, we come down to your press up, head well over the hands, Push and then hips high into down dog. Remember to take the knees down where you need when you do your press up. Okay, if it's too much, you could go back to child's posture every time. You could do a press up, okay, and then back to child's posture. If you're feeling stronger, you're gonna do a press up and you're gonna push back to down dog. So remember that press up head as well over the hands, okay. Chest, nice and open, long in the neck, abs are strong, everything switched on. We're going to do one more, either back to down dog or child's posture, breathing, and then you'll rest down in child's posture for a moment, take some breath. So when you're ready, we're going to roll up to take the weight off of the uh, hands and come up to that high kneeling position. Once again, stretch out. This time, lift up with the arms. Inhale. As we go back, then take the arms down level with the shoulders. And if you can, take the right arm away. Inhale and reach. Come back to the center. Inhale and lift. So we go back. Exhale. Inhale, the left arm reaches. Follow that hand round, lift up on the in, come back, exhale, long in the neck, reach away, how much range can you get? Exhale, we go back, inhale, we reach, make sure that these feel comfortable, exhale, we go back, keep the neck long, shoulder blades soft down the back, keep that good form. It's all about maintaining good form throughout. Okay, so that we really are focusing and trying to really get that stability going on. Okay, reaching up last time, exhale, we go back and then reach. Come back to the top, inhale. Bring those hands down to the floor now. So the hands are going to be under the shoulders and the knees are going to be under the hips. So we're flowing through this practice. Anytime you need a breather, go and have a drink and just rejoin us, anything like that. Okay, so from here, draw everything in, keep everything really steady. Take your right arm and your left leg, float them along the floor, so they're reaching along the floor. Now from here, do you feel that you can float them up? 
So lift them if you can. Reach them and hold that position, breathing. And then come back. So if that's too much doing arms and legs, just do the legs, keep the hands as they are. So we track along the floor first, see if that feels okay. We've got that tray of glasses on the back as we reach the fingers and the toes away. We don't strain the neck, so we just look where it feels good. And then we come back. Come back to the all fours, abdominals drawn in. So we track the hands along the floor and that leg as well if we're doing that. And we're reaching. And stretching. Strong in the leg, in the glutes. Fingertips away. Come back to your all fours. So we keep that good form. The body stays as still as we can whilst we extend those limbs away. Stay with your breath. Don't forget to breathe. And then come back. So we're going to do one more on each side. Draw the belly in. Track the hand if you want and the leg away. And then float them up and off the floor. And hold that position strong and long. Remember just the leg maybe if it's too much with the hand. Come back. Last time. Reach and lift and stretch. And then come back. And then from here, you can either push up to down dog or you can do child posture. So draw your belly in and breathe nice and deep. Okay, so from here, we're going to come back and to high kneeling again. And we're going to step the right leg forward. Okay, send the left knee away and sink down. All right, and reach up. And then we're going to reach round to your right, placing the left hand on to the outside of the right leg. If you want more challenge, this right hand can reach for your back foot and pull up. Release, straighten your front leg and stretch down. Draw your chest down. Toes are up, heels are away. Hands can go to the floor if you're feeling more flexible. Breathing. We're gonna bring that foot back and we're gonna step that foot to the outside of the left side of your mat. And we're gonna drop down gently into pigeon, taking the right knee towards the right hand, the, the right foot towards the left hand. And we're gonna stretch the left leg away. So the left leg, the back foot of that can be on the ball of your foot, or you can be on the top of your foot. And then you would fold forwards if that feels okay for you, for your hips sink down into that. If you're not liking that, lie on your back and give me a figure of four stretch. Uh, you could have that foot on the wall, or you could get hold of the leg and pull in to open the hips. Breath all the way. From here, coming out of whatever you're doing and either come to child's posture or if you want a little bit more, lift the hips up and push back to your down dog. Draw your belly in and open up. Breathe. So when we're ready, we're going to come back to high kneeling and we're going to step the other leg forwards. Send the knee back, make sure the back knee is comfortable. Sink down. Breathe. Reach up if that feels okay. And then take your right hand to the other side of your left leg and twist. Stay with that one, or if you want more, lift the back foot off the floor and pull the foot up. Release from there and straightening out through the front leg. Draw the chest down. Toes up, heels away. And breathe. Hands can be down the leg or on the floor, opening up and lengthening through the hamstrings there. Breathe. And then come up. Now bring that foot to the outside of the right side of your mat. Take the hands to the floor. Take that left knee towards the left hand. The left foot towards the right hand, depending on what's going on for you. And stretch this right leg away. So it wants to stay active all the time. If you can, go on the ball of the foot. Otherwise, top of the foot, 
and then fold down. So breathe and try to release the hips here, okay, but not stretch the knee. Again, if you don't like this, you're lying on your back for your figure of four stretch, taking your left foot up towards the crease of the right hip, and you're drawing the right knee up to open up through the hips. Breathe in all the way. And then come out of that and either push up to down dog or come to all fours and stretch back child's posture. Take some breath. So from here, we're going to come back to those all fours, hand under the shoulders, knees under the hips, okay? Belly drawn in, pelvic floor engaged. You're going to take your right hand just to behind your ear. Okay, as you exhale, you're gonna bring this elbow through, keeping the body steady towards your left arm. And then you're gonna twist, and then you're gonna reach and see how far you can rotate round. And exhale, we're gonna keep steady. And inhale, we're gonna try and reach and twist to the right. Exhale, we're bringing the elbow towards the left hand. So keep the tension on, slow the movement down. Try to have as little movement in the rest of the body. Exhale, you twist towards that left arm. Inhale, we twist and look up. Try to maintain that stillness. Try not to let the hips dip down. Inhale, reach, exhale, twist. And last one. And then come back and stretch it back. So you've got your hands at the front of the mat now and you're going to set yourself up for a press up with a rotation, okay? So a little bit more work again into chest and shoulders. The head goes well over the hand, draw the belly in. We can have the knees down, we could have the heels up or we could have the knees off the floor. We come down to your press up, not too deep if, that, if you're not liking that. Push up and then we're going to reach up to the side. We come back. Do your press up and then we reach up. So remember, you can do the, all of this on the knees or part of it on the knees. Okay, good form. In breath down on your press up. Pull the belly in. Don't let the hips dip down. Pelvic floor is engaged. Deep abdominals are engaged. Find that position for you. Long in the neck, keep the head lifted a little bit. Pelvic floor, deep abdominals. Do one more of those. And then either down dog or child's posture. Take some breath. So breathe into your back, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Take the hands now underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips and draw the abdominals in. So if those wrists are not liking this, remember you can always roll your mat up, have less extension at the wrist maybe, okay? So from here, hands on the shoulders, knees on the hips, left hand to behind the left ear. You're gonna keep the body steady, exhale, bring that elbow towards the right arm, and then inhale, twist, and reach away. Exhale, we're gonna twist, and inhale, we're gonna reach and follow that elbow. So you're following the elbow all the time. Exhale to twist, elbow to knee, elbow to uh, hand or uh, um, arm. In breath, follow the elbow. Keep the body steady. Keep everything really braced. Pelvic floor deep abs. Don't do this really quick, because if you do, then you're not gonna get anything out of it. Slow and controlled in the movement, pelvic floor, deep abdominals. Trying to get as much range as you can as you twist. What's it like on this side compared to the other side? Exhale, we bring the elbow towards the arm. Inhale, we twist to we'll do one more. And either push back down dog or child's posture. And take some breath. Okay, we're going to come onto our sides. And we're going to rest the elbow down underneath the uh, shoulder. All right. You're going to have your knees in front and your heels in line with your bum, okay, bending the knees. All right, so what I want you to do here is to really pull your abdominals tight in, pelvic floor is engaged, lifting the lower waist up and maintaining this lift, okay, in the lower waist. This is what we're after throughout, okay. 
So hand on hip, and we're gonna lift, and as we lift, we're gonna then take the knees apart into a bit of a clam. So we lift, and then we come back down. And we lift, so we're combining that clam movement, so you're gonna be working inner thighs, glutes, all of that. Come back down. So we lift, and come back down, those knees in front. And lift. So maintain that squeeze, that pull in, everything going on. So nice and brace through your center. In breath, prepare, exhale up. And come back down. And lift. Breathe. And lift. Maintain that lift in the lower waist. And lift. And one more of those. And lift. And release. Okay, let's just stretch the top leg away. Then just take the hands, okay, back. All right, so draw the shoulder back, have the knee down, lift up, reach up. Okay, try lifting this top leg now. The hand doesn't have to be up, breathe away. It can be on your hip. Or you could reach it out in front. So lifting that top leg. Keep the lower waist lifted. Too much with the straight leg, bring the knee in. Last one. And then come down. And swing the legs. Round and sweep them out one. So we're going to take them into a wide leg stretch here. Okay. Drawing the abdominals in and pushing the heels away and the toes towards you. We're going to stretch the arms out. Take a twist on the in breath and exhale. You're reaching. Twist on the in. Exhale. We're reaching. So we're doing this saw. Okay. Twist. Reach. As you reach, your back hand twists and reaches away. In breath, twist, exhale, reach. Use that breath. Keep reaching for the outside of that foot if you can. Keep rolling those thighs out and away, pushing the heels away, toes towards, heels away. Use your breath. Back hand twisting and drawing that shoulder in towards the spine. Last one. And take the hands to the legs and just stretch down. So draw your chest down, push your heels away, draw your toes towards you, and just breathe. And then coming up. And then if you bring those feet back, and take the feet wide, okay? And then just take the knee to the floor, both knees down, slowly. And then to add to that, as we twist, we're gonna take the hand and we're gonna reach round. And we're gonna twist, take the knees down, and then reach it round. And then reach round with that one hand. Okay, so getting that mobility into the hips there. And the thoracic spine, keep the belly drawn in. Pelvic floor muscles engaged. Twist round. And reach. Okay, great stuff. So we are going to come to the other uh, elbow now. Okay, so remember we're starting this with the knees in front of you. Elbow under shoulder. Heel should be in line with your bum as if you've got the wall directly behind you. You're gonna take your free hand to lift your waist up and pull your abdominals in. Feel that engagement through pelvic floor as well. Okay, hand on hip. As we lift the hips, we draw the knees apart. Think about this leg on the floor, it's pressing into the floor. We come back down. Inhale, exhale to lift. And then come back down. And lift. So when we're talking about core, we are thinking about everything that's attached to the center 
from the hips, from the back, all of that. So this whole area is all part of the core, okay? And we're trying to do all these movements with good form, with breath, and that real focus on stability. In, breath down. Exhale, up. Trying to get as much range as you can with your body. What's it like on this side? Have you got more range into the hips there? Breathe. Pelvic floor is engaged, deep abs are engaged. And let's do one more of those. And then stretch that top leg out. Take the wrist, uh, take the hands to the back of the mat. Make sure that the shoulder's not dropping in. You're drawing back and stabilizing into the shoulder girdle there. Drawing the abdominals in. You're going to lift up and reach the arm up if you want. Or take the hand to the hip. Lifting the leg, come back down. It's too much to the straight leg, bring it in, hand could be out, bring the knee in. So keep that lower waist lifted. Maybe take the hand there as well. So being aware that you're drawing in. We're trying to maintain that steadiness in the body. Long in the leg if we're lifting the leg. Staying as stable as we can. Don't forget that as you lower, you're trying to maintain that stability and control. Last one. And then come down. Okay, great stuff. So we're going to come down to uh, feet hip distance apart. And we're going to take the hands back nice and wide on the mat or further out. Okay. And then we're going to bring those feet off the floor. Draw the belly in, all right, from here. Keep the knees together and just take a little twist to one side and then twist to the other side. Twist again and hold and then try to extend the legs out. Come back, twist, 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 and then extend out. So just hitting the obliques here a little bit, side of your abdominal wall. Breathe, twist, twist, keeping that upper body still. And reach, we're gonna do one more. Twist, 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 reach, and then come down. And hug your knees into your body. Take some breath there. Place your feet on the floor, okay? Draw your heels in quite tight towards your sit bone. Okay? So feet are hip distance apart, chin is tucked, abs are strong. From here, on the in breath, arching your spine. On the out breath, imprint, and now peel that spine up and off the floor. And lift the hips. So as if you're holding something between your knees here. Squeeze, keep everything really stable and bring the arms up and over the head. Try not to flare up through your ribs. How far can you take those hands up and over? So we're gonna bring the hands down on the out breath, but keep the hips up. So we're gonna lift. And down. So either stay in that position, that bridge, if you want more challenge, you could lift this right leg off the floor into a knee fold and do the same action, okay? Keep everything lifted, belly strong, breathe. Obviously, we could change legs there if you're doing that one. Keep the knee above the hip, abdominals nice and strong, and breathe. And then come down and hug your knees into your body. Okay, roll up. See if you can keep your feet off the floor. Okay, sit tall, pull the abdominals in. See if you can reach your arms away. See if you can gradually extend the legs. 
sit tall, pull the abdominals in. Feels too much, hands come down to the floor. Stretch out if you can fully. Reach, draw the abdominals in. And then if you can, you're gonna slowly reach the legs, slowly down. And then we come to the floor and we reach the arms behind. Now we push the heels away and we're gonna get ready to roll the body up as slowly as we can with as little momentum as we can. We bring the head, the hands level with the shoulders, chin to the chest, scoop the belly and tuck your tailbone and then roll up. And then reach forwards for a stretch. Breathe. And then keep the chin tucked. As you roll back, legs nice and strong where you need to take the hands behind those legs. Slowly back down, reach up and over, take an in-breath, hands level with shoulders. So here, as you tuck your chin and imprint your spine, you feel you need to take the hands to give you a bit of support, otherwise we're rolling up. Keep the chin tucked like you're leading with the crown of the head, stretch forwards. Take an in-breath, scoop the belly in and roll it back, push the heels away, keep the thighs strong. Concentrate on this roll back phase because it's maybe slightly easier than the rolling up phase. Reach up and over. Bring the hands over the shoulders, scoop the belly and tuck the chin, imprint your spine. Roll yourself up. Remember to take the hands behind the knees where you need. Breathe. We're going to do one more of these, just one more, slowly back. Abs are nice and strong. Reach up behind the head and then hands level with shoulders, chin to chest, scoop the belly to imprint the spine and then roll up and then stretch and breathe. So we just take the hands to the legs of the feet, pull the belly in and spine stretch here. Breathe. And then release. So from here, you're just going to swing those legs around. Okay. And then just bring yourself to all fours. So you've got your hands under your shoulders. You've got your knees underneath your hips. Okay. Draw the abdominals in. Okay. Take some breath. So from here, we're going to look up. Send the tailbone away. And then exhale, tuck the tailbone, rounding the back, scoop the belly, tuck the chin, lifting up to the ceiling. And then in breath, away, lift the chest. And then exhale, scoop the belly and round the back, separate the shoulder blades. And then once again, send the tailbone away, lift the sternum. And exhale into your cat. Now from here, just come back to a neutral spine. Okay, take your hands to the front of the mat, fingers spread, tuck the toes, pull the belly in, lift the hips. Pedal your heels up and down as we did at the beginning or earlier in down dog. Pushing the floor away, opening your shoulders, breathing. And then gradually walk those hands to your feet. Tuck your head in and roll up. Restacking your spine. So come to standing tall again and have your feet hip distance apart. And just take your right arm up, stretch it up on the in breath, then on the out breath, just stretch over. And then come back, reach up with the left in here and reach over. And come back. Take the hands behind and interlace your fingers. So you're going to stretch the arms away from the body. Breathe. Turn your head to one side in this position. And then to the other. And then back to the center. And release those arms and take them in front of you. Separate the shoulder blades, elbows are soft and just stretch away. And breathe, keep the hands interlaced, take the hands behind the head, elbows back, take a little twist, keep the feet still, facing forwards, and then twist the other way. 
and then release. Come back to those feet, hip distance, stand tall, rise up onto your toes, stretch to the ceiling, and then exhale, sharply come down in breath. Reach onto toes and sharply come down. And then shake it out. Okay, that's it. Thanks.